Hey everyone, welcome back to another painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay. So grab a brush, grab some models, grab some paints, and paint along with me. Let's rid our world of unpainted models. Yes. And uh, yeah, so today I'm going to be working on some grot tanks, specifically the grots and the grot tanks. These are models that I've had in my collection for a long time. They're partially painted. I painted them for, uh, most of them are, are finished, but some of them were just painted to a quick standard for a battle report I filmed a while ago with Mini Wargaming. And uh, I'm going to finish up all the grots inside the grot tanks, as well as some other grots that I've been painting. Um, and speaking of grot tanks, some of these grot tanks were actually given to me by a really awesome person named Ian Wyatt. And I've been hyping this channel over the last week. So once again, if you really want to check out a really awesome orky channel, the guy builds pretty much all of his own models. He casts them. He makes amazing models that are really orky. Please check out the, uh, the link in the description below to check out his channel. Um, he is doing a giveaway where he's getting closer and closer. Once he hits 4,000 subscribers, he's actually giving away a custom battle wagon that he made. And uh, it's really cool. I really do think it's awesome. I think you're gonna love it. So go check it out. And today, of course, I'm painting orcs. And this is the Grot Tanks. Some of the Grot Tanks were given to me by Cody Rue. Some of the Grot Tanks were given to me by um, Ian. So check it out. I really think you'll love his stuff. Go check out Ian Wyatt's channel. Shout out to Cody Rue as well. And let's get started on this week's Painting with Jay. Hey everyone, so here we go. It is time to paint some grots. Now these grots, now just let you know, the, this is the top of one of the grot tanks that uh, Ian Wyatt sent me, and I really love it. Um, but as you can see, the grots I put on top of them are actually from Forge World, they're from the grot tank kits. Uh, they're not from Ian's, just to be 100% transparent. So I'm gonna be painting these grots today. Gretchen slash grots. This, these guys, some old metal ones that I wanted to add to my army, and some of these ones that were given to me by uh, by Cody Roo. As you can see, they're very similar to the custom, uh, I call it the Gorkonaut that I'm working on. These guys are pretty much done, but I just want to finish up some minor details on them. Um, so I'm going to work on the flesh tones today for the Gretchen, slash Grotz, and get them all done. So I'm going to start with the, you know, the guys that aren't even painted yet. And uh, yeah, and I'll talk about my my week. It's been a little while since our last painting with Jay. I'm gonna start off with some War Boss green, a mid tone green, and uh, do that a couple of thin coats of War Boss green, and then some shading, the usual. Add a little medium to make it nice and thin and workable. Yeah. I'm tired. It's been a long week. That's okay. I do like filming these paint with Jays later in the week because I have a lot to talk about, or more to talk about at least. And, and um, yeah, it is nice. It is quite nice. So, yeah, let's talk. Of course, Adepticon is coming up. I am excited. Adepticon, people. Now, any of you that are going, I look forward to meeting you and hanging out with you if you want to talk. Mm -hmm. I'll be there as always, probably hiding at the Badger booth or something. I really do like just going and hanging out with people. I'm not making it about events. Some people do, and that's awesome. Like it, Each person can get their own thing out of a convention, obviously, right? And, um, yeah. I just go and check out some new stuff and hang out with people. I do buy a lot of, you know, buy some stuff as well. Yeah. But uh, I primarily go for the people. The thing is the Canadian dollar is so weak right now that it does deter me a little bit from buying a lot of stuff. Right. I have to constantly remind myself how weak the Canadian dollar is right now. It's like a dollar Canadian is like 74 cents American or something like that. Something really low. I believe this person already has two coats because he's pretty covered. Um, this one. I forgot to paint the ankles. And yeah, I haven't painted it. There we go. A second coat. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to Adepticon every year. It's it's really fun. I do have a new battle report out in my Patreon. My patrons have already seen it. And it'll be out 
to the public next uh, Monday or Tuesday. Probably Monday. I will try to finish one more painting with Jay, I think, before I leave for Adepticon. And this, these will be the models I'm working on next week as well because I still just have to touch up all the, the tank components. And I still have like a, I don't know, 10, 11 grot tanks to just touch up. So this will take me a week or two. And then obviously the fall, you know, next week I'm at Adepticon. So I should probably vlog. I gotta find my vlogging camera. That way I can film the interestingness of Adepticon. J Vision, all that stuff. I'll bring my camera because I always do film a battle report with uh, Mikey. I haven't officially decided what army I'm bringing yet. Hmm. I think, I don't know. We'll see. I do like these grots. They're old metal grots, but they have so much character. I love them. They look so sad. Yeah. I think I already hit this guy with a shade. Yep. And this guy needs another coat. Yeah. I like this guy with a wrench. So don't yell at me. I've got a wrench. He does not look happy. <laughs> like my oiler grot. My grot oiler. <laughs> yeah, what am I looking forward to most in the depth? I said just hang out with people. I like to talk to people. Meet viewers. Hang out with fellow YouTubers. Um, hang out with fellow people in, the, in you know, my, my colleagues. Like my my friends at Death Ray Designs, I only get to see them really once a year. Um, my, you know, all my, you know, to hang out with Ken, Ken Badger. So, that's it for the, the first, that coat. So I'm just going to, these ends have already been shaded. So the first step after the shading anyway is Warboss Green. So I might as well, while I have some uh, Warboss Green on you know, my palette, build up some of the flesh tones again on them again and as I said these god tanks aren't they're not completely you know unpainted I just they weren't painted to a, an, my usual tabletop standard they were painted just you know um, I rushed a couple of them just to finish up uh, I was filming a battle report with um, mini wargaming a couple years ago and uh, I, you know we talked and we thought god tanks would be a fun game I played against against um, Quirk. That Quirk's still there. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, yeah. And uh, we had a good time. But as I said, I, they weren't painted. The grots themselves were the parts that were a bit neglected, and they're grot tanks, so they have to have grots. I'm going to use a white flag on this one. I think it'd be funny if he's waving a white flag. Because <laughs> he's a grot. Alright. There we go. Alright, one down. Yeah, these grots are going to take me a few, a couple hours. Just to clean them all up. But that's okay. As I said, I'm, I'm going to keep painting. I am really starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I cut back slightly on my painting. I did finish all those, those things from last week. Um, but I am studying for some more certification that I'm taking for my job. I'm writing the test at the end of April. So I'm uh, splitting my time, my free time that I'm, I'm not with my girlfriend, with uh, painting and studying. That way I have a painted army, and I pass my test. To 
be honest, I, I'm in my role for so long, and this test is really, I wouldn't say basic, but it's, it's if, if, you, if you're new to the role, it would be challenging, right? But I've been doing this job for years, and um, I'm not, you know, I do like to know the, the knowledge. Uh, I like to know what I'm doing, which is good. So I'm not, um, you know, I'm not that ultimately worried, but you know, I do take it seriously. You should always take you know, these kind of things seriously, frankly, because I don't want to waste any more time studying. So if I pass it on on April, you know, whatever end of April, I don't have to study anymore for this test. And then the debate for me is to maybe take some more certification and get myself, you know certified for jobs that are above mine and that way if I ever want to I don't mind being a keener in this case because if you know I decided to go for jobs above mine I would be qualified and it does remove a bit of the uncertainty I know some bosses are like wait a minute you don't have your your courses yet or your certification maybe we should you know go with someone who does because there's a guarantee that that person will have their certification so I don't know. We'll see. So this might be the summer of studying on and off. thin coat but I'm confident that um, probably by the end of April the way that I'm going I guess we're mid-March right now but um, I am confident that I he has two coats on him he has two coats on him he's already been shaded um, I'm gonna be out of out of orcs to paint. What a journey! I've been painting orcs already for like six months, seven months, six months, and uh, it's gonna be really cool. A cool feeling. I can't wait to film my army showcase. I gotta remember to do that. I didn't do that for Tyranids or Necrons. I'll do them again. I just you know it takes a while to set up, count the points. Yeah. Yeah, these grots have so much character. I just want to get a couple paint, a couple coats on them to make sure that the foundation is solid. And then I will hit these guys with a shade. There we go. You look good. Okay. So I let those guys, what should I do now, what should I do? I should I hit these guys with the, the shade, so I'll let them dry for a second. And while I'm letting that dry, I'm gonna add some uh, scar snake green and start highlighting up some grots. Later, and then some pure scars in a green one time just to uh, after that. But as you can see, it's good. I want to get the grots themselves, you know, really looking good because they are the leaders of the grot tanks. You have to, right? That makes sense. You can't have grot tanks that look awesome without the grots inside looking awesome. So I want to make sure they all look really cool. And uh, yeah, so right now I'm just going to focus on all the areas that are more visible. There we go. It's a pretty quick process, but there are a bunch of grots to paint. This video might be called like, put in the grot, 
in Grot Tank. Painting the Grot in Grot Tank. I don't know. We'll see. A lot of Grot. That's a lot of Grot. Um, there is a guy in my local meta who has like 500 Gretchen. He'll never paint them. Who would? That's okay. He's more of a collector. Uh, his name's Dave as well. He's not my friend. Not, not the, the Dave that I, I play against all the time. My friend Dave. But um, Dave pretty much plays good armies. He likes the good guys. Uh, my friend Dave. If you guys have noticed that too. Awesome. Thanks, guy. Yeah. What else? Ah, uh, yeah, as I said. So I might just keep studying. Um, oh, man, spring is in the air. Spring has sprung. I know, depending on where you are in the world, it could be becoming fall, or it just has always been spring. You know, if you live in BC, Florida. My father lives in Florida um, six months a year, and he loves to send me pictures about how nice it is in Florida in the winter. I'm like, thanks, Dad. It's pretty funny. He's like, hey, Jay, it's nice in here. It's sunny, and we're going to the beach. I'm like, great. It's snowing. Half a foot. Oops. In that case, I went over his eye. That's okay. It looked red anyway. But, uh, yeah. it. Yesterday was the first official day of spring. And today, it's very nice. Yesterday was very nice, too. It's actually like the... It's really nice when, you know... I guess I live in central Ontario, but um, it is really nice that, you know, like the first day of spring, it's nice weather, and you're like, oh, spring's actually here. Like, I've had first days of spring where it's like snowing, and you're like, it's not spring. You're fooling us, weather. Don't fool us. these grots so what I'm going to do now is just go through my old grot tanks as well like these guys these ones were given to me by Cody Rue I love them I love these grots these grot tanks I love them Yeah, I also love the, uh, the grot tanks given by Ian. They're just awesome as well. So I'm just going to clean up, highlight up these. Uh, these grots. Make sure all of them are looking awesome. I think I did highlight them up at one point. You can see that there is a bit of variation in their skin tones. I just want to bring it out a little bit more. Give them the, the love that the give these models the love all that they deserve. Get them on the table and looking awesome, you know. The card tanks themselves are basically done for these ones. The other ones I need to touch up. The ones that are from Ian I'll need to touch up. Just a little bit, you know. It'll take me. As I said, it'll be my painting project for this week and the beginning of next week um, before I leave for Adepticon.
and finally this guy's. I could use these guys as kill cans probably as well. I might do that sometime as well. Some custom kill cans. They do they could be kill cans as well. Custom killer cans or crop tanks. Either one. Because they have the tank tracks, but they're also very walkery. And Texas Rangery. Alright, so now that the second coat of Warboss Green has dried on the four grots that I have not shaded yet, I'm going to hit them with a Thonian camo shade to differentiate them a little bit from my works. I have my works with a bile tan, so it's a little darker. I kind of feel that the grots should be... a little darker. I'm looking forward to the U.S. food as well. Breaking my, my diet. I'm not really on a major diet or anything, but I'm trying to eat a little bit better. American food is the fix for that. Oh, the fast food there is hilarious. I love it. That's okay. Walking around the convention center for like four hours, five hours, you burn calories too. Friend is coming, so that's good. We have a house sitter, and it'll be, I'm, uh, I'm happy that she's coming. I, I really do like spending my vacation with her because I only get so many vacation days a year, to be honest. And there's not a lot. I don't you know, and it's it's really nice to be able to spend them with her. I know it's doing something geeky. She goes shopping and has a good time and relaxes and. And stuff too but um, we're both really happy that she is that she's coming yeah Let's get these grunts all nice and done. As I said, it's gonna be fun. I'm uh, really excited to have all my orcs complete. I really am. It's been such a journey. You know, the funniest thing is you watch it over a few episodes, like, you know, what, what, 15, 16 episodes of Painting with Jay. But, um, you know, the amount of painting, it's, it's a lot. And then I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna paint my next army. Um, I keep thinking I should go back to another army that I have a bunch of models for, which would probably be Space Marines. I just haven't decided yet if I'm going to paint them up Imperial Fists. Because I do like the fact that I have an entire Imperial, Imperial Fist army. I can paint some Dark Angels if I really want to, but let's be fair, you know, I don't really play with a lot of Dark Angel stuff. Um, my Dark Angels really haven't gotten up to a tabletop since I... Start playing 8th edition. Um, but um, I played in Pearl Fists a couple times, and they're fun. I, they're, that's where my Primaris Marines... And I do have, you know, the Shadow Spear box set. I do have another Dark Imperium box set. So that alone is like a... That's got to be, a, you know, another thousand points of Space Marines, at least, I figure. Um, I'd say so. It has to be. I have a couple vehicles, like a Vindicator. Um, so, you know, I have, I have some models to paint. I definitely have some Space Marines to paint. I could paint Space Marines for a couple months, get them all done, remove more box sets, and then, you know, focus on another army. Uh, I could do Grey Knights. 
So right now I'm just taking some Scarsnick green, which is a very light green, and I'm just going to paint the noses, top of the hands. It'll it'll dry a little bit lighter, or darker, sorry, than um, what currently is. Chin. There we go. Pick up a couple details. What else? I love Chicago. Yeah. It's always fun. The drive? Long. Um, the drive's long. Um, depending on how we're feeling, we may just hop in the car... I really hate leaving the convention Sundays. I like to say my goodbyes, but um, you know, we're going to be there Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So depending on how we're feeling, Sunday we might just get in the car at 7 a.m. and drive, go home. The thing is, it is, um, on the way there it's easier because the night before we, we stop halfway, or not halfway, um, a few hours away. So that kills a few hours of the time. And then you also gain an hour by driving to Chicago, right? We're in a we're in Eastern Standard Time there in whatever Central I think it is called, and so that we gain an hour. The second you basically hit in Illinois, you the times change, and so really like the morning there, it's only technically a, a six hour journey from where my family lives in near London, Ontario to where the convention is in Chicago, right? It's a six hour time zone change. It's a six hour difference in time. All right, it's a seven hour drive, you gain an hour. So, um, did I paint this guy right? I'm losing my mind, that's okay. Might as well, re, re I don't think I did. Um, ain't bad at all. It's, it's a really easy journey. I, I've actually done it straight before, uh, multiple times. I've done it the entire journey with basically like a five minute washroom break or gas fill up. You know, it's not a bad drive at all. Six hours, I can do I can do a seven hour drive pretty easily. Um, my my girlfriend isn't the biggest commuter. She she does she does a lot of driving. I mean she's she does a lot of driving for her job, but she doesn't like the long road trips. And so, for her, we're gonna stop a few times, obviously. And that's okay. Um, but the way home, we do want to go home. Like, we want to go from not to my family's house. We're going to my house. So it is a 10-hour drive. Plus, you lose an hour. Because the hour that you gain when you got there, you lose when you come back. Right? So about 45 minutes into your drive, all of a sudden, time zone changes. And it is, you know an hour and 45 minutes after you left. So it's really an 11 hour commute, right? So if we leave at 7 a.m., we're probably getting home at like 6 p.m. if we don't face a lot of traffic. And on a Sunday, you never know what you're gonna get. So we're, we'll see. We're gonna to play it by ear as I paint an ear. But, um, yeah. We'll see. So, I really hate it. I, I hate leaving the convention. It's like my least favorite thing is leaving the convention and saying to your friends, like, hey, an awesome time. I'll see you again next year. Same bat channel, same bat time. You know, and it's it's tough. I love conventions, and it's it's a great way to. For me, it's always been. I think about more about the relationships at the convention. You know, some people go to play tournaments. Some people go to play games and, and buy new stuff, and that's awesome. Like it, everyone to each his own. I go there for the relationships. I honestly do love. You know, like. Catching up with Black Tom and catching up with Mikey Vengeance and catching up with, you know, Ken and, and uh, Chung used to go a lot and now he doesn't go anymore and I, we miss him too, uh, you know, 
Oasis Rising Michelle, and uh, Mario, and, and, you know, Adam, and the guys at Death Ray Designs. Like, it's so much fun to hang out with these people. And, and then it's like, okay, I'll see you again next year. Because I, it, that's the thing, like being on the Canadian side and they're all on the American side and uh, a lot of them live pretty far away. And I would love to be able to take some time out of my week and my schedule to go out and drive and hang out with them. But it'd be very difficult. There we go. So those grots are painted. The um, other four are drying for their shade. So I'll highlight up their skin tones later. Let's see here. Yeah, shade is drying nicely. So what next now? Let's work on some colors. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with them. Grab this guy. So let's paint uh, blues next, maybe the pants, get all that painted up. Yeah, so now as you can see a bit more detail on these guys, they look, it's nice to have them. We'll paint the blue areas and go from there. Just paint my normal, you know, uh, steps for orcs, follow them for the grots and paint them for the next, you know, 20, 25 minutes. These grouts are going to look so much better when they're done. And I'm uh, happy for that. You know, oh, just a little uh, medium. I'm just trying to keep my paints nice and thin. There we go. And, uh, yeah. So we'll see. I might just say all my goodbyes on... Friday. Oh, it's Friday, Saturday. And then drive home. We'll see. I, we have to decide which vehicle we're going to take. I think my girlfriend's vehicle is a little bit more comfortable. But um, I hate putting the kilometers on or miles on her vehicle, right? Because then all of a sudden it's like two, it's a 2,000 kilometer journey. Don't like, uh, yeah, you know, I'd like to avoid that if possible putting on her car because it's her car. Her car is new, mine's old. But her car is a lot more comfortable. It really is. So I'm going to paint over the some of the areas I've painted before, like make a little bit of mess, but I'll clean up after because I will be touching up the metallics. And I'm supposed to be painting outwards anyway, right? So I'll make his hat black. Maybe the cord's red, make the headphones metallic. Yeah. So that's done. Uh, this guy, done. Okay, good. As you can see, the, the littlest detail, right? It's like you, you paint these grots up and... It gives a little more life to the model. It really does. Yeah, I'll give him a black hat as well. This guy with all of his luggage, uh, the luggage carrying grots. Yeah, 
so much detail in these little guys. He's, all the little things he's carrying. Cool. He's done. Uh, these guys. and painted. Yep. Cool. As I said, grots are fun. Grots are very fun. How are those legs? I'm making pants. Why not? They can be whatever I want them to be. Good. He's done. Next guy. I'm just gonna keep painting all these dudes. Those are there. Making pants. Blue pants. He's wearing pants. There we go. Yeah, these were to like a quick standard that um, I'm not really, I'm not saying ashamed to be honest, but I, I feel guilty sometimes at the standard that I painted some of these awesome models to in the past, because now they're getting the attention that they love, that they deserved, and that's good. You know, Cody Roo put a lot of time into making these really awesome models, as did Ian Wyatt. Check out his YouTube channel, Ian Wyatt. I'm going to give him some love. Let's, uh, by the way, Ian Wyatt stuff, obviously, he didn't, I'm not being forced to do it by any means, I just really want to help support his channel because I really do think he's a good guy and it's a cool channel and it's obviously he's doing a giveaway I think it's awesome and so I want to help support him you know that's what I'm about I saw Captain Marvel last week I liked it wasn't my favorite Marvel movie but it was good I thought it was good Yeah, that was good. Um, I'm not going to say anything, but I knew ahead of time that the cat apparently stole the show, and the cat did steal the movie. And it's really funny when you're like going to see Captain Marvel and Nick Fury, and maybe find out what happened to his eye, and uh, a cat is like the, the best thing in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but these grots are coming along as I said so by next painting with Jay I want to have the grots painted and I'll probably be just tuning up and cleaning up some paint jobs for the grot tanks themselves and then and after that I have some orky terrain my mech shop. I'm going to paint at the same time as the terrain from Speed Freaks. And uh, that's basically it. And then it is a break from orcs. As I said, I'll figure it out in the next couple of weeks. I still have a few more weeks of painting orcs, so I still have a few more weeks to think about it. What should I paint next? Maybe a new army, maybe space ones. It's 
Space Marines wouldn't be too hard because I can batch paint most. Models in the, in the army because they're all Space Marines, right? They're easy, they're smooth, great, you know, clean services. It's nice. All right, let's paint these guys. While well, the shade is drying, I can paint the pants because there's not a, you know, there's no, um, connection points. I don't really run the risk of messing it up after. Pretty much dry. Birds are starting to be outside. Life is good. Mm. Yeah, that guy's definitely wearing a dashiki. Well, let's make more pants. Why not? together cool yeah I'm looking, looking forward to this year it'll be a good year we're in March already it's spring wow you blink time is flying by but it keeps you busy you know as I said like every day you paint a little bit another day goes by you paint a little bit more and I forgot the green his feet are those shoes nope they're bare feet oops I gotta paint those guys' feet. This guy's feet. Oh, whatever. I'll paint them after. Look at that. Yeah. Garbage trucks going by. Oh, bus. Yeah, I'm really excited for Adepticon. I can't wait for the break, to be honest. It's going to be nice to just take a week off work. Or about a half a week off work. that guy's feet. I missed his feet. I missed a spot. Like Adam, you missed a spot. Uh, Alright, grunts are coming along. A few colors into some grunts. You know, that's not bad. Let's see, so grab his feet. I think we have my palette going already, so it's I get the color.
cool. I like that the feet with the shade after that it dries. What are we, 45 minutes in? Mm, let's start another color. Maybe another color for about 10 minutes. Why not? Let's take some Bane Blade Brown. As you see, I'm just, I, I mask, I, sorry, I don't mask. I do the same color combinations for my grots as I do in my orcs because that way they all look the same. You know, uh, Their skin tones are slightly different. They're, you know, obviously I, I do do that stuff, but um, I do like to match them. And yeah, like I said, it's going to be Good time to just get all my orcs done and then figure out then I'll clean up all the, the grot tanks themselves get them all done and let's see who has a shirt he doesn't have a shirt nope no shirt for him does he have a shirt nope He's going to go with military colors. Let's clean up these guys. So. Not, not much else is new and exciting. Just painting rots. Enjoying life. Um, yeah, so I like Captain Marvel. Marvel is good. And. Yeah, I liked it. I'm I'm really excited for uh, you know end game. Um, yeah, end game is gonna be awesome. Avengers End Game. Ultimately, how many will survive? We'll find out. And it's only a, you know a month away, so it's not too bad. And I'm pretty sure it's after my test, so I can actually relax, and go see it. Yeah, now well, I'm probably going to do another trip somewhere in um, the fall. We'll see. Um, my girlfriend and I are just planning it right now. We haven't figured out where. That's okay. We have a little time, you know, a little bit of time to figure it out. All right, he's done. I did trio crowd tanks the other day in a battle report. Uh, I filmed a few, so I have a couple now. I have a couple in the in the queue to go up. They're pretty fun. Eighth edition crowd tanks. Yeah. Gradzukas are nowhere near as fun. That I did see, so I didn't give them Gradzukas. Gradzukas used to be like my go-to. Crowd tanks with Gradzukas were hilarious. Dress drop so many pie plates on your opponent and laugh. You know. Red things have never been the most competitive option, but they're not uh, they're not extremely weak. Well, you wouldn't see them in a competitive meta, I don't think. I might bring them to a tournament just for fun. Like a fun tournament. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't know. They're, they're fun. They only have four wounds now. And their toughness five, I think. So they're quite killable versus well, these be like two wounds, two hall points. You know, back in the hall point days. I miss the hall point days sometimes. That's a different story. There we go. There are 
all. Look at that. This one. As I said, I'm just going to clean up these grots for a bit. Maybe I'll do a couple tournaments this year. We'll see. If I have the time. Because it's already going to be April, right? And I'm not going to any tournaments in April. Um, we'll see. Or I might go to a tournament. We'll have to see. There's a tournament that my friend Will is doing. So maybe we'll see there. Yeah, we'll see. I should do a couple tournaments this year. Have some fun. Meet some people. Hang out. Warm for a day. Maybe bring some bread takes. Yeah. Good. Look at that. Cool. And that's basically it for now. I will. Those guys are all drying. So I might as well, and here we're about 50 something minutes in anyway. So look at that, we got some grot tanks worked on. Um, they're coming along, so they'll be done before next week. And then, or sorry, the grot themselves will be done and then I'll type up, I'll work on the grot tanks. Let's end now. So that concludes another painting with Jay. I hope you are ridding your world of unpainted models. I am, and I'm really happy about it. So stay tuned for more painting with Jay. Uh, there'll be, there should be one next week as well. And of course, Keep on painting. I really hope you're enjoying this stuff. As always, this video is brought to you by my Patreon campaign. Link in the description below if you want to help support my Patreon campaign. And also, check out Ian Wyatt's YouTube channel, bringer of some awesome Gratanks. Stay tuned for more videos. And as always, till next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting. With me?